Hello everyone. So today I'm going to teach you how to use the uh, the uh, Hermes programming language. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is that you want to go to GitHub. So the the Hermes programming language is the program. It's a programming language that I wrote while making my uh, game engine. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you how to use it. Or how you can download it and use it on your computer. So what you go go ahead and do is you go to GitHub and you go and head and close down the source code of Hermes. And I'm gonna show you how to write a simple program with Hermes. Okay. So uh, go to somewhere where you want to clone it down, and you just clone it down. you go into the Hermes directory and now what you want to do is that you want to type make and and sudo make install oh actually you have to do this uh, make and make lib a so there we go there we go so now I have her, the Hermes uh, interpreter installed on my machine. So now we're going to create a basic program here. So I'm going to create a folder called showcase. And let's open up an editor here. Now uh, just make that a little bit bigger. Now we're going to create a Hermes file. So let's just write a basic program here, okay? So let's. Uh, if you want to know more about Hermes, you have to go to my GitHub uh, repository and read in the doc, read in the readme file. I'm just. I'm not going to go through everything here. I'm just going to show you some basics. So let's make a program. Let's make a function. Um, let's make a function that creates a person. So um, object person is equal to, and maybe that person will have a name. Let's just make it like that for now. So our function will take in a name, and then it's gonna do person dot name is equal to name, and then it's gonna return person. So now if we do um, object my person is equal to actually let's do let's do object uh, someone is equal to create person and his name will be John. Now if we now we can try and run this code, see if we get any errors. So what you do is you type Hermes and the name of the file main.he. It you will not get any output because we're not doing anything. So now let's let's print that variable. Let's print someone. Okay, so we see that it's an object. Okay, and we know that this someone has a name. So let's print dot name. So that works. Cool. We have basic loops and stuff as well. So let's say we want to print this in a loop. We can do while x is less than one hundred. x plus equals 1, define x, there we go, it printed John 100 times. Um, I recently implemented string con concatenation, so we should be able to do something like um, um, someone is equal to someone dot name plus um, hello, might get an error actually. No, it worked. Cool. So, um, it added hello to the string. Anyways, um, yeah, so basically if you want to Actually, if you want to create a pull request or anything, if you want to help me develop this language, 
uh, feel free to do it. I will put the link in the description of this video. So uh, let's go through the readme here. It's a C-like scripting language. Here's an example program. Here's some data types. Here's some examples. And uh, it has a few bugs. It doesn't have a char data type. Accessing lists and objects is sort of funky. Returning an object does not return a copy. Implement free method. Be able to include other scripts within scripts. Segmentation fault when having a list inside a list. Stricter types. So yeah, I'm, I just wanted to show you that. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.